Say that again, please. Okay. Trend is three, uh, three digits, but plunge is two digits. Always. Just like direction of dip is always three digits, and dip is always two digits. What was your question? Uh, I can see that uh, when you mentioned here the linear feature, there is no indication <coughs> in connection with uh, the. <coughs> A quartz vein. If I see quartz veins in the formation, can I consider this that as a lineation? A quartz vein. The question is whether a quartz vein should be seen as a lineation. Well, it depends how the quartz vein um, reveals itself to you. The quartz vein is a plane. It's a joint which is filled with quartz. Right. So it's a planar feature, but you'll often see it as an intersection on another plane. And you therefore treat it on that intersection, unless you can measure the plane itself, because it is wetter, and you can wedge your um, clipboard in it, so that you can extend it and measure it as a plane. If you can't, you measure it as a lineation. If you want to get the full plane, you measure it as two lineations, because in 3D <laughs> space, two lines define a plane. If I take these two pens, there's only one way you can put a clipboard on it. So two lines in space define a plane. So if I have two lineations, of, if, if I see a quartz vein, and I have a plane like this, and I can measure it here, and I have a plane like that, and I can measure it there. These two lines I measure as lineations. I plot them on the stereo net, and only one great circle will fit through it. And that is now the orientation of the plane. The direction of dip and dip of the plane have been defined by that. So it, ha it depends on how it uh, shows itself, whether there's a planar feature or a linear feature. And this trick is true for every plane. If you only see an intersection with it, you use the two lineations to define it. Other questions? Breakfast is at half past six. <laughs> <laughs>